trying to show y'all the whole vibe. So now I gotta stay like a fucking flamingo when this motherfucking plant is in the back of my locks. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. She said real name. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't be scared to join the fam. We have fun over here, okay? So with today's video, as you saw by the intro and as you can see by the title, we are doing a get ready with me for a girl's day. I'm so excited. I am about to get ready to go see my sister, my sister girl, okay? She's really my sister. But y'all see her later, y'all gonna be like, y'all don't look alike. We're stepsisters, but that's my sister. She been in my life, all my life. So yeah, don't be asking like, is that really your sister? That's my sister, sis. Okay. The plan for today in general, hopefully it goes as planned, is to, we already did our hair, so thank God we don't have to worry about that. If you're wondering why I got the same shirt on from the last video, baby, it's the same day. Okay, I ain't dirty. But the plan is to do our makeup. We are gonna pick out an outfit together because I really don't know what I'm wearing. I'm also running off like five hours of sleep for a first. So oh, if I look a little crazy and a little delirious, that's why. And then we're gonna drive all the way to Baltimore. Girl, we're gonna drive. And then we're gonna go get something to eat. First things first, I have to moisturize the face before we get into the makeup. I am using this new Innisfree. I believe that's how you say it. It's the Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. I have to get into sunscreen, y'all. Y'all should too. I saw that picture of that lady, she was older, and she had put um, sunscreen on her face, but she didn't put it on her neck, so that told me two things at the same time. One, sunscreen really works, which I know, because the sun is so damaging to the skin. I know that, right? But it's not just enough to put it on your face. Like, drag that shit down to your neck, girl, too, okay? Because it's... As you can see, it's so important. I'm gonna try something new today, y'all. Just cause I wanna try it out. I, I don't know why. And if it turns out bad, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Don't be like me, y'all. Don't try new things when you about to go out. But I really wanna try this. I'm gonna put some of my Pro Filter Powder in Cashew. I'm gonna lightly dust this all over my face. Like, when I say lightly, just lightly because I want to see if it makes my um makes my overall face last longer I was watching our nail Armand while I was doing my hair earlier and she apparently has like a quick attention span as well and she kept forgetting what she was talking about and I was just laughing because I was like yo this is really me like attention span short as hell this is in the color cognac and I'm in a shade 385 on my hand like this before I put it on my face and it's actually been helping like the foundation blend in better with my skin. So, and I've really only been focusing the foundation at like, well today I have to go up there, but I really just been focusing it on the bottom of my face. That powder may have made a difference. Hold on now. <laughs> Get into it. See, okay, maybe y'all should try new things because this might pay off, baby. And this is the e.l.f. powder blurring brush. I really like it to apply my foundation. Before, I was using a Sephora brush. Um, It's somewhere in my brush container right now. But I really like this. And y'all know e.l.f. is really, really, really affordable. Like, this should be dirt cheap for real, for real. Do y'all do this? But I started to put product right there because... When I don't, it look like it's missing something. I don't know. Speaking of the new brushes, here they are. These are the ones that I need to try next time. This one's super cute too. It reminds me of that other brand. Real Techniques. <laughs> yes, memory. Oh, I just look like that girl that's on TikTok talking about some period. Ah, period. Ugh. <laughs> that's just who I look like. Ugh. Would y'all be interested in seeing like a full thorough like makeup tutorial if so comment down below i'm gonna wait until i do like a i'm testing new products makeup video because i think that would be more exciting plus 
I don't want to get rid of a lot of things, but I do want to like amplify some things. Like I need to get a face pressed powder and I need to invest in like a new primer just because I've had these ones for a really long time. This is the e.l.f. blush. It used to have words on it. It is not anymore. I like how like truly pink it is, but it's not too pink for my complexion because y'all know I'm a brown girl. And I've been putting it on my nose ever since I saw somebody do it. It just looked like the cutest thing ever. I tried this Benefit Bad Gal Bang My Mascara. It's so good. So now I'm going to go in with um the MAC. Lip pencil and chestnut. Yes, I love doing my lip. And I don't see no hairs, no peach fuzz. Then I'm gonna go in with the MAC um, lip gloss called Love Nectar. It's my absolute fave. I just think it complements my skin tone so nicely. Can somebody explain to me what's the difference between Fitzy Glow and Fitzy Glow Heat? Like, I'm actually confused right now. Ooh. It feel real lusciously, like lusciousness on my lips. This feel real, real expensive. Hold on. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. And let me leave out my combo because this is definitely going in my purse later. But that's basically today's look. I just did my makeup like so fast. Period. But let's go into my bedroom. Oh, it's cold, baby. I need to turn the air off. Hold on, let me go. Uh, let me keep the air on, actually. I got this little lamp. Well, I got a light bulb to go inside my lamp. Oh, it's giving. To go inside my lamp by my bed to just add to the light in my room because I don't need this fan on. Because it be too dark in here sometimes. But anyways, let me show y'all, like, what I'm thinking about wearing. So like I said, I want to do white. I think I'm going to put on this oversized shirt from H&M. And I'm going to put on my favorite jeans from Zara. I definitely want to do gold for sure. So I got a ton of just gold jewelry right here. These are some earrings. And these are like a ton of rings. And then I want to go for like the daintier vibe so i'm not going to do a watch whenever i want to look more dainty i do bracelets instead of watches and for sure i want to smell sweet today um i don't know what bag i'm gonna do yet because i want to wear heels right just because i want to get that bitch so i'm gonna put these on because they just go with the vibe i think but i always make sure to bring like some sneakers with me as well in case i still want to give a look and be like go somewhere later walk around i just make sure i have sneakers in my car because i don't be wanting my feet to hurt with the heels so if i do the cream bag right which i think i may do i don't know i'll definitely wear these like forces because they have cream in them and if i wear the green i'll definitely wear these dunks that my man got me i've never worn them before so we gonna see what vibe I'm going for. Y'all, if you're ever wearing white or something that easily stains, make sure you spray yourself down with your perfume first before you put your shirt on. I've ruined so many shirts, specifically one scam shirt that I, oh, did y'all just see too much? That I love too much, right? Cause you know, perfume is like very oily. I sprayed it trying to smell good and shit and I fucked that shirt up. These earrings are from H&M. And so are these rings, y'all. They are too cute. Like, they're so pretty. It's the vibe that I'm going for. Like, chunky gold jewelry. I feel like this is good enough. And then I'm gonna put on the bracelets. Fun fact, all of my like real jewelry that y'all see me wear like a real gold is from my grandma. So this is this is my grandmother's. It's a bracelet. It's one, these are two of like some of the only bracelets that I can actually fit from her. Like jewelry collection. Cause if you don't know, I lost my grandmother last year and I inherited all her jewelry. As a child, I guess I like 
always was playing in her jewelry and stuff so she always made that a known thing like when i leave terry getting my jewelry i'm like that and i really be wearing her stuff it just it makes me feel closer to her i always have on some type of necklace and i already had these two on so i feel like it goes is it too much i hope it's not Y'all can't see the shoes, can y'all? I'm trying to show y'all the whole vibe. So now I gotta stay like a fucking flamingo when this motherfucking plant is in the back of my locks. It's not giving. So anyways, I cannot see what I look like right now. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna insert this clip or not. But just finished getting ready. I switched out the cream bag. I was going to do the cream, but it wasn't giving. It was giving dress me down, and I'm trying to dress her up. So, this is what we're going for. And I also have the heels on. These are from a company that I don't even know, so I can't even tell you, babe. But this is the vibe. I wanted my, like, little brock. I said brock. Black bralette to, like, show and peek through a little bit because it matches and it brings out the black and then i'm really excited that this bag actually has gold detailing on it because it's going with like you know it's going with the gold jewelry vibe so i like her anytime i'm like really showing cleavage i feel like i'm not supposed to be like i'm not a grown ass bitch like i'm not 25 years old out here but um I'm also scared to do my edges again because I don't want to mess up my face. My face is perfect right now. So anyways, I'm about to show y'all like, bitch my fear. I'm about to show y'all like the behind the scenes of me taking pictures for my thumbnails. Because I take those on my phone most of the time. This is a cute angle. I should film a video right here one day. <laughs> um, Just because like, I want y'all to see different content from my channel. So let's go. Let's go take some pictures. Oh, wait, you guys, I forgot. I have this ring, too. So I took this one off my middle finger and put this one on. Y'all probably, like, I don't give a shit, just her. But I feel like this is a better combination. Like, these two were too similar. So now this is what it's giving. But anyways, I'm about to use this little clicker and get to work and take these pictures. I always get high when I take pictures, too. So let me turn my uh, AC back on. I do not want to sweat. All right, you guys, so I got my pictures for my thumbnail. That was just a little behind the scenes. I haven't filmed in front of a ring light in a really long time, and I'm doing it in my next video. I'm going to film in another area, and I'm filming in front y'all ever do y'all makeup and instantly start like sneezing and stuff but what are you talking about i'm filming in front of a ring light next time i miss it so much it just gives i have enough lighting in my bathroom but it don't hit like a ring light so i'm gonna switch it up in my next like sit down video and film in a different area possibly in my bedroom so yeah, y'all, I'm about to leave out. I'm about to get all my stuff together. I need to take my trash out. I need to get on the road because it's an hour and something drive to Baltimore and I need to get gas. I know, a pretty girl has to get gas. But I will pick this back up when I'm like on my way, on my way. Hey y'all, if the camera is blurry right now, I'm sorry. I don't know what it's doing. So I apologize for the quality right now. Like it's really, it's really acting up. It must be on. I must have pressed something. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out later though. But I just pulled up to Baltimore. It feels like I went on a whole fucking road trip. Because basically I did. Um, I think I got a speeding ticket pulling in to the city. And um, story time real quick. I experienced like a real rush of adrenaline just now. Like I was okay story time i accidentally sped past a really big y'all know them amazon 
like shipping trucks that are huge and long i accidentally sped past one of those i jumped okay i was in the left lane there was a lane next to me on the left though but that was like the hov lane hove lane i don't know what it's called i don't know what it means but I always assumed that like I can't drive in that lane for some reason but the people in front of me was going so slow and I was experiencing so much traffic and like right now I have to pee like crazy I pee before I left out the house three times y'all and I don't understand why I have to go to the bathroom again I did bring water with me but I didn't even have no time to sip it because I was pushing it it took me like over an hour and 15 minutes to get here but I'm here and I'm excited because I'm about to go meet my sister that's crazy because i just know i got a ticket coming right into the city on accident too i was doing 60 and then i saw um i saw a speed limit thing and it said 30 i'm like oh let me slow my ass down but by the time i saw the camera in the corner bitch i was only doing like 50 45 so i probably got a ticket I don't know, but I'm about to see what my sister is because our reservation is for, our reservation is for 4.30 and it's 4.28, so. Knowing this girl, she's probably running late, but I'm not going to ever hold it against her because she's a whole mama bear. But wait, did I finish my story about driving past the Amazon truck? I don't think so. Sorry, y'all, I'm running off like five hours of sleep. So I was, I jumped over into the left lane to then jump back over in front of the cars that were going hella slow and also a part of the reason why they were going slow was because we were all behind a big ass amazon truck van whatever but i did not know until i got in the whole lane that it was going to run out and i saw the arrow on the ground to say like merge i'm like <gasps> so my heart immediately sunk into my ass y'all and I had to like, it was either like flight or fright. I immediately felt it. My my brain was like, make a decision. And I just sped up and I, bitch, I had to outdrive all the cars and the Amazon truck to get in front of them because the lane was running out. Cause I knew if I had slowed down, I was gonna be sandwiched in between the end of the like highway and all them cars and the Amazon truck and no ma'am no ham no turkey so i pushed it and i got in front of them and oh, i felt my heart racing in my chest i ain't never feel no adrenaline like that before and i don't never want to do it again i don't know how people take like real drugs because that's crazy anyways i'm gonna pick this back up when i get to the restaurant okay hi, say hi it's loud in here i'm probably gonna be Oh, I should have told him to keep an extra glass. Um, I ain't bringing a drop off. Y'all, it's about to be a vlog of whatever this is called. The little roller clips and listen to the music because they play me and I'm gonna get right in. Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. You got desires. And I'm not a liar. You had me down on my knees every time you had to talk inside. I'm in an 80 and one of the twists. It's a prior. I try to pay all your loans. So I'll pick up you a job. I had to stand too close to the skinny. You had to be vulnerable living this life. I still walk your way through this before I'll cock you all this ice. You wanna be my number one? You're not hanging like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made the second change. Put you somewhere where no one can find you. Go down, please. Say hi to my nephew. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Hey, what's up? Y'all, my camera died, so let's see until. That got me, baby. I love you. I love you. Hey, y'all. I'm 
I'm sitting here editing this video and I've realized that I said that my camera died. It did not. I was prepared. I brought all my batteries. My storage was full on my SD card. So I'm so, so sad that I wasn't able to like finish out this video because we had so much fun. We went on a whole like bar hopping situation afterwards and it was so fun and I had such a good time. So if y'all want to see more content like this, comment down below. Cause we can go out next weekend <laughs> but um i just want to close out this video i appreciate y'all so much for watching it especially if you watched throughout the whole thing like i love you so much make sure that you subscribe and i can't wait to see y'all in the next one bye mamas yeah 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 oh.